has now become. I mean, is this what we are now left with? What has happened to this franchise? Let me show you the studio responsible for this nonsense. Meet Sledgehammer Games. Uh, I'm a producer. Yeah! What? what the hell am I looking at, bro? What just happened? These are Call of Duty devs? This is no longer Call of Duty, bro. This is Call of Beauty. <laughs> Bruh. But I get it, like, they made it, like, all pink, uh, they made it all cute, I mean, it's Call of Duty after all, guys, uh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Games. Um, I am... I am? Uh, sorry, I just realized it was talking to me on the other screen. Um, I... There we go, up. ladies and gentlemen, how we all do <laughs> How we all do it? Today we're gonna be catching Call of Duty cheaters doing their... Like and subscribe if you're brand new, and let's actually catch some cheaters, man. This is gonna be a video of the century, my brothers. Shout out to you guys, shout out to Call of Shame, shout out to the Toxic Gamers, shout out to everybody out there that wants games to be good, though. Because nowadays, these seconds don't want it. They just want to turn everything to beauty contest, strong measuring contest, they dame, strong empowering, you know what I mean? Beauty received no nominations at this year's Game Awards for the first time in the franchise where they were Crazy. mocked by the legend himself, Christopher Judge. My speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Damn. What? <laughs> wow. This is crazy. In other news, in other news, the man simply said that this year's Call of Duty was shorter than his BBC, bro. Yeah. That, that's exactly what he's, he meant. I mean, shout out to Christopher Judge, boys. <laughs> Give it up. Don't <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <clears throat> true, true, Sledgehammer, true. for unknown reasons, actually allowed streamers to advise them on how to create the game, even having exclusive podcasts with streamers that can only manage less than 1200 views after two weeks. Do you still think your streamers command the community? Why are you listening to people like this? Listen to the community, bro. Like, the community has literally been screaming their tits off that dog. Get rid of skill based matchmaking. Make more content. New content. Dog, have live events in Warzone. And stop, for the love of God, dog. Like, stop doing these. Uh, where's that? Like, I gotta actually find that. And stop having these. Really, you have me online. Stop having these skins every single week, dog. Three is built for streamers. All these flares, buybacks, gulag re entry packs portable buy stations and redeployment packs, it's crazy. They just keep coming back, like a never-ending story. I am constantly killing the same enemies, over and okay, over. Bro. These redeployments have to stop. Bro, you gotta stop, okay? Stop stop sucking your own schlong right now, bro. We get it, we get it. You're a NASA employee, you're a disgruntled NASA employee that has information on all the aliens and the UFOs. Leak the UFO files! Leak the alien files! We need you on this matter, okay? We get it. Like, finding cheaters, catching cheaters, uh, doing the... And knowing and finding out that Swag doesn't know, a, uh, doesn't even know what a radar hack is, is important. I get it, my brother, but we need to catch them aliens too, Kaji. Oh. Stop taking advice from streamers. This new woke zone is becoming extremely frustrating. They do not care if they rush and die. They always have a way back into my game. This game has been built for streamers and really lacks the feel of a true Call of Duty title. You know what this game feels like? Oh, snap. Doctor? Doctor, this, 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 it respect. It feels like a knockoff version of Call of Duty. Facts. That's what, that's where this franchise is, with, in my opinion. This game is incredibly addicting, and I haven't had this much fun in arguably the last 10 years. And anyone that thinks this game is not built for streamers, just take a look at the official launch trailer. With cringe, creepy little quotes from Warzone streamers. Breath. <laughs> Take a long movement feels unreal, amazing, satisfying, and fluid. Call of Duty is back. Meanwhile, we're finding out that Modern Warfare 3 sales have been down 40%. It's one of the worst selling Call of Duty games. Guys, if you did not buy, because I did not buy this year's game, if you also didn't buy, shout out to you. <laughs> Listen, man, L listen, listen, if you bought it, you're loving it, that's different, okay? That's that's perfectly fine, but all I'm saying here is that people that are sick and tired of this game and that chose to not buy, 
shout out to you, right? Because even if you're a fan, fanboy, or a hater, if you really hurt them where it hurts, it's their pockets, okay? The, the money, okay? If you hurt them there, they're finally gonna do some good. I know we say the same crap every single year that next year it's gonna be better, guys. Next year it's gonna be better. Next year it's gonna be better. But this time, I mean, damn, bro. Next year needs to be better. It gotta be better because seconds and fan the fans actually stop buying the bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So like the video for the fans, guys. Like the video for yourselves as well, boys. Hard look at these streamers. They all promoted and the for game. me as well. For me as well. Warzone is finally saved. saved. Shut up. These streamers are desperate to keep the simps watching them. If nobody watches them, they don't make any money. True. Here is Faye Swag. Doing his best to convince Sims oh my it's God. okay to watch streamers. And for me personally, I find myself watching more streams and videos. The problem is, when streamers <laughs> had a chance to shine, they all just decided to hide. Swag also doesn't even know what a radar hack is. Swag also likes to. Damn, Swag, bro, just stop it, bro. Just stop it. Just stop it. I know you are one day away. Or not one day. What am I Bruh. saying? You're just like one step away from getting that shot on your burna too bro yeah. don't do it bro don't get those uh, shots bro it's not good bro be natural drink more water bro eat healthy and play the game like everybody else bro like you do not need any of those tick tick ticks bro like especially not on the burna bro because once you go in with that you can never go back you're constantly gonna be chasing that high bro and it's not gonna be sustainable dog they became don't the very it, rats they claim to hate this was a recent lan event and they really showed themselves up I mean, are these the best players in the world? No, they are just Warzone streamers, nothing more. In a recent tournament, as soon as these streamers land, the first thing they do is- To be honest though, I feel like that Call of Shame is just a hater though. I, I, I think he's just jealous, you're just jealous of their skills, my bro. I, I think he's just jealous though. Uh, one in the comments if you think he's just jealous. Two in the comments if you think he's just jealous. Bruh. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. Call of Shame do be showing his skills as well, just like how we've seen his, uh, you know, aimbot gameplay. Oh, nah, I'm joking, man. I'm just, Call of Shame, just come here, man. Let me send, let me send you some kishish. Let me send you that kishish, boo boo. Let me send you some kishish, boo boo. Find a corner and hide. This one decided to hide in the corner, too terrified to move. Yo, bro, like, it's not real life, bro. Just move, bro. Like, it's fine, bro. It's gonna be okay, bro. Like, just go, bro. Just move your There's toggle, no bro. Like, benefit tick, tick, tick. to moving. There's no benefit to moving? Are you joking? How about Bruh. some self-respect? Something lacking in streamer world. <laughs> that man next to me has gotten his loadout, which is very impressive. Oh, impressive? Damn. Because it's he moved, bro. He moved. He simply moved. It's simply, he simply move. How is it impressive? You just have to walk. You have to move. You buy, you buy the loadouts and you have the loadouts. Like, dad, bro, it's not rocket science, bro. It's not rocket science, dog. It's called playing Warzone. It's just playing, dog. It's just simply playing. Just move, bro. Just move, bro. After some time, another player entered, shooting him in the back. Oh. Crazy. Yeah, boys, everybody. GG Stole boys. his weapon, then decided to hide in another room. He actually stayed in this building for around 17 minutes. Oh my god, he would later tell me now, bro. around the map and died deep inside the gas in the final circle. Getting 17. exactly what he deserved. What a rat. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> in this same tournament, professional gamer Formal was also competing. Formal, who is the first and only competitive console player to win an MLG event in both Halo and Call of Duty. Well, that was until he ran into a bunch of Warzone streamers, teaming in a single room, hiding up in the beams, they just can't do anything right. Oh my god! That is just... I mean, damn, 17 minutes? That's insane! Okay, for, 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 a, for a sec, right? Quick little, uh, quick little thought here. Yeah, you also caught the homie Face Swag uh, swimming around like Face Fish. In that, in that sea, in that not sea, what am I even saying? In that lake, right, that we had in Warzone. I, I I believe it was for 11 or 12 minutes. So this guy broke his record too. That's wild. He broke his record as well. 17 minutes. Guys, please don't Clearly go ahead. He wasn't happy. Don't and don't. So. Please don't break that 17 17 minute record. Move in the game if you're playing. Just play the game when you play, guys. Like this is like, disgraceful on, behavior from these players that like to call themselves Warzone professionals so they can justify unemployment. 
What the fuck am I looking at here? Bro, like, it's Warzone, bro. There's like a squad of people. Wait, what am I looking at, bro? You're looking, at, looking at the at game. Here, Utterly embarrassing for these Warzone Warzone man, streamers. You're looking at rocks, bro. They will always find a way to exploit, lie, cheat, or abuse something. Holy. These streamers really are pathetic. This is madness. It's nothing more than a payday for streamers. Biffle, Mutex, Chrissy, Lucky and the four phase members, Kaylee, Dirty, Adapt and Scope, all agreed to share the prize money. I want to be clear. I mean, dog, like, come on, man. You're just a hater right now, Call of Shame. You're just a hater, man. Like, look at them, bro. They're strong. They're independent. They're winning games. You know, they're spreading their cheeks and they're also spreading their bread bro. around. You feel what I'm saying? They're making that dollar dollar bills and they're spreading. They're giving it to their homies, bro. Like, come on, bro. Damn, bro. Like, the lucky channel. Can I, can I, bro, get two pennies as well or something like that right now? Teaming was allowed, as there was no rules for game 5. Oh but my this God. just seems like a payday for streamers to keep them happy, as they got dismantled in this tournament, during games 1 to 4. While some streamers decided to team, others did not, and tried to play out the game fairly. Maybe I'm from a different era, but this fairy teaming nonsense Yeah, you're a toxic gamer, bro. You're against toxic my gamer. competitive nature, and formal among others, played the game with integrity, regardless of losing. Yeah, the rats will agreed. now discuss who gets paid like criminals after a heist. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has done that GTA 6 heist, bro. Like crazy, man. Crazy, bro. But but at the end of the day, though, like they're thinking about their homies, right? Like I, I gotta give them like one point. I gotta give them the the the, the benefit benefit not the benefit of the doubt. But I gotta give them credit for like spreading their 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 bread and also spreading their cheeks with the homies. Bruh. All you gotta say is no homo at the end, and I think everything is fine, guys. Everything is fine, right? Bulls. Hey, I told you, bro. You didn't want to trust me, bro. You know we could have had that shit. Do we even have not one, bro? Imagine. <laughs> E? I don't lose these solo yolos, bro. That's how you turn. And it is turn. Oh, what's good, Listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, we really did that shit. Yes, sir. I told you, bro. I saw that last round. I said it's easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, my you made God, that, bro. bro. Yeah, let's glitch the the next highest together. That's your the God Squad. Hey, that shit was did incredible. assemble the Avengers. Are we missing Kaylee? No. We're missing Kaylee, Chrissy. Kaylee, Chrissy. But listen, guys, I gotta go. Oh damn. Uh, Your Trevor is that you? I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Why you say we gotta talk? Listen. Yo, that's way too loud, dog. Listen, guys. But where's my cut at, bro? Like, can I really get two pennies, bro? Like, I've been supporting you guys for years, right? You know what I'm Bruh. saying? I never accused you of cheating. Bruh. Like, the homie call of shame. Come on, man. Like, I've been defending y'all asses, bro. Can I really get two pennies for two people that didn't get it? I'm just joking around, bro. I'm just joking around, okay? Like this video, boys. Like this video. Yeah, but can I really get two pennies? Take all. You know what I'm saying? Get up, yeah. 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 You is not hitting me with the back door, right? Yeah, everybody's out here trying to get their share, trying to get their heist money yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> but at least they're Holy like, shit. you know, sharing the money. <laughs> you know, at least, at least. Hey, what, do you, what do you got to say to that, dude? Well, I mean, what do I, I won my ones. Damn. <laughs> Yo, all I noticed was a fist fight, and there's a fucking, uh, what's it called? No, mortar strike. There's a mortar Alright, let me. Okay, next, next. We, we get it, we get it. Y'all suckers are uh, sharing money like AIDS right now, so we, we get it. But next. Who you up? Yeah. Huh? So you guys, uh, you guys know where to tell them. You guys know where to tell them I'm keeping it all? Where? Alright, we're splitting it, fellas. Where? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And did not use proximity oh, chat to arrange anything. The rules clearly stated after the players drop, not before. It also stated in game. Which was why they enabled proximity chat. There was a time when Call of Duty Midnight release actually meant something. Cross. Yes. Damn. 
You waited a whole dog. I remember buying Black Ops One not at midnight. It was my first Call of Duty game. I remember going to Best Buy probably right after school, and you know school used to end or somewhere around like 3 30, 4 p.m. ish. I would be home by like 4 or 4 30, somewhere around that. I remember like taking the bus, going to Best Buy. It was it, it was evening time, but it was like fully black outside, pitch black. You know what I'm saying? Like because like four or five p.m. It's like nighttime, like dead ass here in Canada, right? I went uh, to Best Buy and man, it was lit though. Everybody was like trying to buy Black Ops, and it wasn't even midnight. Now this seconds don't even care for Call of Duty. Ten hours for this. I waited eight months. <laughs> Queues formed around the side of GameStop, even stretching down the street. Hundreds Thank were you. waiting, and many queued for up to eight hours. Man, I miss that time era, bro. <laughs> Whoever was like, part holy. of this only truly understands the passion gamers had for Call of Duty. Yeah. And of course the game was absolutely perfect when it dropped. Right. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Or not disagree, disagree, Bruh. disagree, because the one man, one man army noob too, right? And there were some aspects of the game that weren't... But, but, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, right? Like, we, we didn't give a damn, homie. We didn't even give a damn, dog. We played it, we loved it, and that was pretty much it. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen because Dr. Disrespect Friend got caught cheating live while being in his lobby. Oh, shit! Oh, that's shit. what it's being said, okay? That's what's being reported. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, that's like the brand new series of the horror videos, uh, the ghost videos on the channel. If you love horror games, you love that, that type of content, check it out, man, and I will see you right there.